somebody interested? How do you keep somebody interested? Right here. How do you keep somebody interested in the conversation? Um, you can fix it. I was hoping for a longer answer so I could drink my beer. <laughs> 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 keep, keep hooks in, okay? Uh, Interesting yeah. answer. No, no, it's, it's a good answer. Keep hooks in, sort of headline your stories, maybe. That's all good stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. I feel what really keeps people interested is not saying interesting <laughs> things, but escalation itself. So the changing nature of the relationship. If the re relationship between you and the other person, this could be a woman you want to get with, it could be a friend you want to make. Right? If the relationship is changing, that's what's really interesting. So escalation itself is interesting. Right? So if you ever find yourself in this interaction where it doesn't seem to be going anywhere, and you're saying, oh, I don't know if this person is interested. I, I, got, I got to think of something interesting to say. If I can come up with something interesting, I need material, right? Go to the internet. Super routine. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. All right. If you ever feel like you've got more, you have to have more material, it's probably a sign that you're just not changing the nature of the relationship with the other person. So escalation itself. So how do you escalate? How do you change the nature of the relationship? How how when you meet a woman in a if I'm in a if I'm in an art gallery, right? I meet a woman I'm attracted to. Sure. That's, you're on, you're on my stage. I'm around. That's nice. Appreciate it. Okay. So if I meet if I meet someone I'm attracted to in an art gallery, for instance, or a bookstore, I know that one of my escalations is I have to go sit down with the person. Because standing up, you can only get so far. Sitting down is more intimate, it's more relaxed, you really can get to know each other. All right, so I know I have to go sit down for coffee with that person. So what do I say? How do I escalate? Do I say, hey, you should sit down for coffee with me? No, I say, I legitimize it. I say, you know what, I'm enjoying this, I'm having a good time. I want to sit down for five minutes and have a cup of coffee with you. How do you feel about that? Give it time constraints just so it feels comfortable. The overriding thing there is I'm saying there's a reason. I'm enjoying this. You're making me laugh. I haven't met somebody who made me laugh in a long time. So I don't know what you're doing right now, but I've got five minutes. I think we should sit down and get to know each other better. Right. It's escalation. I'm changing the nature of the relationship. That itself is interesting to the other person. But in order for me to make that change, I have to have something, I have to have learned something about that person. If I don't learn something about that person, then there's no reason for me to escalate, and she knows it, right? So if I say, uh, I'm telling, doing a routine, I'm all funny, I'm Mr. Cool, hey, you like my laughing, so you must be okay too, and so I'm gonna go, I wanna sit down for coffee now. She's gonna think, why? Why does he wanna sit down for coffee with me? Why is he gonna get to know me better? I've done nothing to earn this kind of interest. So she's going to reject it. So if you're concentrating on being Mr. Interesting, Mr. Funny, I think that's a mistake. I think you ought to be concentrating on her being Miss Funny, Miss Interesting. Right? It's a balancing interaction. You want her doing those things so that you can say, hey, I like that, and this is the reason I want to take it to the next level. This is the reason why I want to change the nature of the relationship. And that itself is what's interesting. So how do you get her being interesting? Right. How do you get her doing those things? Well, for one, you ask for it. You meet someone, you find out they're an artist. You say, what's your process? How do you become an artist? Right. Just ask for a lot of big shit. <laughs> <laughs> ask somebody to make an effort. The more stuff you can ask for another person, the more you're going to get, right? If you ask for something little, can I write on the board with these things? Yeah, that's okay. If I ask for something little, let's imagine that this size, right? If I say, so, is your job fun? <coughs> and she says, or do you like your art? She says, no or yes, right? There's, that's a lose-lose situation. No matter what she says, I've got something little. There's no way I can do anything with that, right? I've got to ask for something not little. I've got to ask for something what? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to ask for one of these big fuckers, just like that. Right. I want to say, so, tell me your, tell me your story. I want to ask for things that are so big, they're almost like, what, huh? How could I possibly ask answer that question? Ask for huge things. 
Okay? Because that sets the tone for the interaction. That sets my expectation. Right? If you come in and you say, so, what do you do? And she says, I'm an artist. And you're like, that sounds like a fun job. That's a fun job, isn't it? Right? She's like, yes. You're like, so, what do you paint with? Acrylics or oils? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I paint with watercolors, but thanks for asking. I'm out of here. <laughs> small, small questions, questions, questions. Okay. Now, if I was your coach, I'd say, I'd, I'd be pulling my hair off and say, no, don't ask, them. ask your big fucking questions. <laughs> You're an artist. Well, cool. What, what made you become an artist? How do you become an artist? What do you do? You paint on, you paint on furniture? How does that work? Like, big stuff. I walk up to girls all the time and I say, so, what's your story? You know what she says? You know what she says to that? I don't know. She says, what kind of fucking question was that? <laughs> <laughs> or she says, I don't know. She says, She's shocked and surprised, right? And so I'll tell the guy, I'll say, go up and ask her what her story is. And the guy will do it. And he'll walk back. He'll go up and ask her story. And she'll say, I don't know. And he'll walk back and say, that's it. 